Well, howdy do, folks. How are y'all doing today? It is me, Booga Boy Meister, here with another fan mail video. Yes, that's right, folks. Today I'm going to read some fan mail. You know, I get a bunch of messages on YouTube. I get a lot of ugly messages. I get some nice messages. But uh, today we're going to read some fan mail. I've got 3,590 messages I haven't even read yet. Woo-wee. Good grief. That is a lot of messages. Here's one from Garrett MC C L E L L A N D. Message subject says stuff. Yo, Booger, I just wanted to know that don't stop the Melvin vids. They're hilarious. And I love how Melvin talks. You do great comedy skits, and Mickey is funny too. So is Bad Baby Smokey. Yeah, ride that pussy. Laugh out loud. Have a great day and tell Mick, Melvin, Mickey, and ba Bad Baby Smokey I said hi. See you on YouTube. And uh, if you don't know who I am, visit my channel. But the cartoon video got messed up. Laugh out loud. See ya. Well, thank you very much for the message. I really appreciate it. I'm glad you're enjoying my stuff. Thank you very much for your support, Garrett. And you have a boogerific day. And glad you like Mickey, Melvin, and... Bye, Bubble Smokey. Smokey, Smokey. Oh, yeah. It's fun doing those voices, I have to say. I really like doing those voices. It's a lot of fun. Here's one from uh, S-C-R-I-V-E-N Andre. I have no idea how you pronounce that. Shriven Andre. Message says. Wait, where is it? Oh, he's talking about my grandfather. I bet those squirrels were happy when your grandpa wasn't there to steal their nuts. Oh, yeah, those squirrels were really happy. You know, when we were cleaning out my grandmother's house, we found a huge container outside, probably about maybe 20 feet long, of acorns behind the shed. It was nothing but acorns in there. Nothing but acorns in the damn metal container. Can you believe that? What kind of psychopath goes and takes the damn acorns from the damn squirrels? Here's another funny story, too, about my crazy grandfather. When we were cleaning out my grandmother's house, we found marijuana seeds in the basement, and we found a poison from World War II, and we found over 40 pounds of mercury in Coca-Cola boxes. Wow. I tell you, my grandfather, folks, he was crazy as hell. He's been dead for nine years, and he's still causing problems. Still causing problems. But the good news is, we got my grandmother's house sold, and it's over with. Thank God. That place was a lot of shit. A lot of shit. Especially my grandpa. He was a hoarder. I tell you, he had a lot of shit. A lot of shit. He saved, like, every damn thing. Anyway, on to another message. Here's one from Mega Next Gen Gamer. That video. Hey, Booger, how's it going? It's been a while since I've seen your videos, so I saw some of your videos you made this month, and I ran across that one funny video, Melvin Annoys My Sister, and took a closer look at her face. She reminded me of, never mind, if I talk about it, I'll just bring up memories. I wish I could tell you, but I guess it might be awkward for both of us. But anyway, I'll tell you about it soon. Later, Booger. Well, Mega, I'm sorry that video brought up bad memories, but, uh, I don't know if my sister reminds you of uh, your ex-girlfriend or what, but uh, sorry to hear about that and hope you can get through uh, everything, and thanks for the message, and uh, I had a lot of fun making that Melvin Annoys My Sister video. I have to say I had some fun making that video. Here's one from Zerani's 360 prank video. That video with your sister pranking you about the 360, was that real? It looked pretty real. What time was it? Was it late at night or something? But damn, I've never seen you that pissed. Well, that video was actually fake, folks. That was actually a fake video. I staged all that. I was pretending I was sleeping, and I had my sister come in there and film all that and make it look pretty real. I mean, I was trying to pull off one of those viral videos. You see those on the Internet where people sit there and they fake something, but they try to make it look real. But i tell you one thing, though, folks. All those videos of my 360 breaking over and over and over, the three red lights, the freezing, the scratching my games, that was all real. That wasn't staged, that wasn't prank, that wasn't fake, that was the real deal. Lucille, that was the real deal. But uh, 
that was a fake video, the 360 prank. That was a fake one. But uh, thanks for the message, Zeranis, Zeranis. How the hell do you say that, Zeranis? Thanks for the message. Appreciate it. Here's one from the Beast Pat 11 message. Can you give me a shout out? I'm your biggest fan. I watch all your videos. Please, it would mean a lot to me. Well, the Beast Pat 11, you got a shout out. Thanks for the message. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. And you have a boogerific day. Here's one from Retro Kid 1996. Video game questions. Yes, you read me right again. Ooh, this one's a long one. I'm back once again to ask a true gamer about video game questions. I know that you've beaten the Resident Evil Director's Cut, but did you ever but did you ever get to the basement like my cousin did? Yes, he has never beaten the game either. I never beat Resident Evil Director's Cut, but I played it on GameCube, and from what I remember, the basement is pretty damn freaky. Or did you at least get that far in? And did you ever get that far in the second one? I've never beaten Resident Evil 2, I know that. And beaten any other Resident Evils. I've beaten Resident Evil 4, I've only played the demo for Resident Evil 5. I beat Code Veronica. What was the other one? There was another one. It's like a, it was a really shit Resident Evil game. It was like a shooter. Resident Evil Survival? I don't know. I played that one. I beat that one. That one sucked. Resident Evil Dead Aim. That was a piece of shit. What was the other one? Resident Evil Outbreak 1 and 2. I don't even think I even played those hardly. Never beat Resident Evil 5, though. Let's see. What's he saying next? Now, I take the beat majority of Xbox, PlayStation 2, PlayStation 1, N64 and Dreamcast games. Did you ever beat or at least make it far in these following games? Perfect Dark? Yeah, beat that one. That was a good game. Perfect Dark Zero, man. That was a piece of shit. The hell was rare thinking? Cruising USA, World, and Exotica. I beat all those. Played them at the arcade. Those were fun games. I like those. Good graphics on N64, too. Uh, GoldenEye. Yeah, beat GoldenEye. Beat that one several times. Mario 64. I got like halfway in Mario 64 and then I sold the game I don't know I just that was like the first game actually no that was the second game I got on N64 first game I ever bought was Conker's Bad Fur Day then I bought Mario 64 and I went and sold it because I don't know it pissed me off or something what else Ten Pin Alley and finally Big Mother Truckers I remember that game there's two of them Big Mother Truckers Big Mother and the Crazy Taxi games. I beat Crazy Taxi 1 and 2. Played like half of 3. If I'm going to let you go for now, but however, I have one last question. Do you have the Adams Family for the Super Nintendo? Nope, I don't have the Adams Family for Super Nintendo, but from what I remember, it was called Fester's Quest or something. And uh, I got both the movies on VHS, so I got those. Of course, if one of these days, if you ever have the time, will you give me a list of all the games that were not shown in the video, old games? I'll accept, if you accept, I'll give the list again. Thank you, Retro Kid 1996 Well, it would take me all day to sit there and go through every single old video game I own, but if I ever have a lots of free time on my hands, I'll sit there and go through every single one of them again in a video for you. And all you people out there on the internet, because I know some people like to look at the old video games and stuff. So I'm more of an old video gamer, I'd say. I, I'm a big fan of the original Xbox and Super Nintendo, N64, Genesis, you name it. I like them all. So maybe one day when I got nothing to do, I'll make a video showing off all my old video games. Now that I have an HD camera, I can show you a good quality and all that. Let's read another message. Here's one from... Booga Bear 805. Hey, I love your kitties. P.S. You have a PS3? Yes, I got a PlayStation 3. It's right over there in front of the TV. I haven't really been playing it too much lately, though. I think my sister uses my PlayStation 3 more than I do. She mostly uses it for Netflix. <laughs> Netflix is pretty good on PlayStation 3, though. I like it. Let's read another one. Here's one from J.I.V. K O B O T. How you say that? Javik Obot? Javik Obot? I don't know if I said your name right. Subject says horror movies. Remember when I told you about Extro and there's Extro 2 and Extro 3? 
So that's good. I remember you telling me a message about a bunch of horror movies you sent me, and uh, I did check out a lot of those movies. I actually watched uh, Zombie Death House the other night. That was pretty good. I think John Saxon directed that one. I thought that was a pretty good one. But uh, I, I liked some of the movies you told me about. I watched that, uh, what was it called, White Dog? That was crazy as hell. The dog was, like, racist and killing people. He hated black people. Then the dog liked white people. It was a crazy movie, really crazy. But uh, I'll have to check out Extro, Extro 2, and Extro 3. I got them on my Netflix. I don't think they have the first one, though. Maddie, what the hell are you doing? Damn cats over there tearing up the blinds. But uh, thanks for the message. Appreciate it. Let's see. Here's one from K-L-Y-K-T. Hey, man, Jane from Sweden here. Lost my dad and grandma in 2008. Two, got depressed, and now 2011. I still have to take... How you say that? Sarah Tellen? I hope your mom will be well. Thanks for all the horror movies you've shown. Seen a lot, thanks to you. Cheers, Jane. Well, thank you very much for the message, Jane. I'm sorry to hear about your grandma and your dad. I know how you feel. I lost both my grandma and my dad in 2008. And, uh, day is depressing. It's hard when you lose somebody, and... To tell you the truth, I, don't, I, have, I still haven't gotten over my dad's death, to tell you the truth. It seems like it just happened yesterday, and it's been three years. Fourth of July was three years, and it just, I don't know, my life hasn't been the same. But I'm trying to keep going, and stay strong, and keep on moving, and keep on trucking. And uh hope you got a lot of support from your family and friends. So I know that's one thing you got to have when you lose somebody. you got to have support from somebody. Because if you don't, you're really going to be down. But I'm really sorry to hear all the news. And don't feel bad about taking uh, depression medicine. I take depression medicine myself. I only take one thing. Now, at one point, though, I guess it was back in 2009 or 2008, I was on a whole lot of shit. I mean, you might have seen me in some of my videos. I was skinny as shit. Now look at me. I'm a fat son of a bitch. But uh, it's all right. I lose weight again. I gained weight from... My back problems and stress, I tell you, they'll do it to you. My back's been so damn messed up. I went to the back doctor today. Got to do some more physical therapy. If physical therapy doesn't work, they're going to do a damn epidural on my back. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. But I'm very sorry to hear about the news, Jane. I hope you can get through all this hard time in your life. and I hope things get better for you. I really do. But thank you for the message. I'm glad you enjoyed the horror movies I've been showing. Here's one from Quad Fan eight eight three eight eight three. Dang, that's a lot of eights and threes. Message says, "Hey, happy Fourth of July, booger." Well, thank you very much, Quad Fan. You have a great. I hope you had a great Fourth too. But uh, thank you very much for the message. Let's read one more. And then I think I'm going to end this video because I've been going on for like 13 minutes. I know this webcam gets a little bit laggy, too. I don't know what's exactly causing that, but it's getting old. But I've noticed it's been lagging quite a bit. And yes, I do have a beard grow, for those wondering. I know I got some messages from a couple fans saying, Grow a beard, booger. I want to see what you look like with a beard. I know I tried it in, like, 2009, but I don't know. It was itching so damn bad. I'll probably end up shaving this again, too. But damn, son of a gun, it's just like hell. I mean, I always end up shaving it, but maybe I'll keep it this time. Here's one from the Gaming Boy 2000, Xbox 360. Hey, Booger, I just want to say that I've been a fan since the 2007. I have always wanted to say you're funny as hell. I love your videos, and I'm sure it's full, but what's your gamer tag on 360? I've always wanted to know. One more thing, is your Xbox working okay? Because I've... Cause I, cause you've had the worst luck with those. Well, thanks. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> well, the Gaming Boy 2000. Thanks for the message. My Xbox Live friends list is full, but I get on there every now and then. But if you want to add me and uh, see my page and all that, it's Mr. Cribby. M R space Cribby. That's in reference to my old website, Conquerors Crib. I used to call myself Mr. Cribby. But that's my gamer tag. I don't really play online, though. I don't even have Xbox Live Gold. One thing I really do on Xbox these days is read my messages when I can and play demos on there. And that's about it. But uh, thanks for the message, the Gaming Boy 2000. I'm glad you're a fan of my videos. I appreciate it. 
I'll read a few more, and then I'll have to end this video. Because it'll take me forever to upload this thing in HD. I tell you that, it will. Here's one from MK4791. Hey, Booger. Hey, Booger, can you friend my friend JVK in the house who can find a comment from him on my channel? You can go to his channel and friend him. Well, I'll have to check out uh, JVK in the house. I like that name. That's a cool name. Let's see. Let's go to the next page here. There's so many messages. I don't know which one to read. Here's one from the Canadian Toast. Remember the good times. Hey, Booger, tomorrow is the 4th, and, well, you know what that means. I'm sorry for your dad and for the rest of your family. I hope you can cheer up soon, the Canadian Toast. Well, thank you very much, Canadian Toast. I appreciate that message. That was very nice of you to send me that. I really appreciate that. Thank you for the support, and you have a boogerific day now. Thank you very much for that. Here's one from Mickey Ravens 52 opinion on the movie. Hey man, it's Mike. Just wondering your opinion on the movie Paranormal Activity. I like it for the most part, but the ending was dumb, and it sucked. Just as it was getting good. Laugh out loud. And the uh, alternative ending sucked too. Laugh out loud. Your friend, Mike. Well, I had to say, I ain't a big fan of Paranormal Activity. I thought the first one was a piece of shit. I mean, it had its moments with the little demon thing in the attic going around. That was the only part that was actually kind of weird. The second one flat out sucked. I mean, I hated it. Paranormal Activity 2. Damn, terrible movie. Uh, they're probably going to make a third one and put it in 3D. Probably. Wouldn't surprise me. But uh, they'll probably make another one. Probably will. Well, I've been ratting on for about 20 minutes here. Thanks for all the messages, everybody. Thanks for the support. Thanks for checking out my page. And you all have a boogerific day now. Sorry if this webcam is a little bit laggy. I know it gets laggy. I don't know why. If anybody knows how to fix it, let me know. It's a Webcam Pro 9000 by Logitech. <laughs> well, you all have a good day now. I'll see you all later. Thanks for the messages. Bye-bye. <laughs> See ya!